Law school. Hey, have you ever considered law school? You probably have an interest in law and that you're watching this video legal blog, and you probably have watched several of our other blogs. Law school. Well, what's the cons and what's the pros? Well, let's take a look at the cons first. First of all, you got to get into law school, and that takes a little bit of doing. You have to take the LSATs. Let's assume you get over that hurdle. You go to law school, and it's expensive. It's very expensive. The majority of people who come out of law school today have student indebtedness of over $100,000. All right, but you get through, you go to take the bar. What's your likelihood of passing the bar? Bar exams are difficult. In 2018, in February of 2018, the number of people who took the California bar exam, the number of people who passed, only 26% passed. Basically, three quarters of the people who took the bar exam failed. Now, let's assume you get through the bar exam. What can you anticipate? Jobs in the legal profession are going down, down, down. Fewer lawyers are being employed in the country. And even if you get a job, what kind of money can you look at? Well, you're not going to be receiving, in all probability, those stratospheric salaries that you read about on Wall Street. No, the median income for lawyers in the United States in 2018, half above, half below, was $118,000. So half of the attorneys were making over $118,000. Half the attorneys are making less than $118,000. And then, once you begin practicing law, whoa, there is the stress. It is considered to be one of the most stressful pro professions that is out there. What kind of stress? The kind of stress that drives people to they begin abusing various substances, whether it's alcohol, whether it's drugs or other things, and results in a large number of suicides. Okay, so that's what you got to look forward to. On the pro side, what have you got? Well, it's a very rigorous form of education that develops very good analytic skills for thought process. And you might have a very strong interest in social justice and seeing that people, in fact, get their day in court. And you can derive significant personal satisfaction from that. And there are a lot of areas in the country, particularly rural areas in the country, that are underserved by lawyers. While there aren't a lot of jobs available many times in urban areas, there are a fair number of jobs available in rural areas. So you may get some tremendous satisfaction from that. So basically, what should you really do? The general suggestions are to people who are thinking about going to law school is get to know yourself. Who are you? Take a job. Maybe you work in some other area. Do something where you're using your skills after you graduate from college and find out what you like doing. You might even want to spend some time traveling. Find out who you really are. Get some life experience so that when you confront legal issues, you will have some degree of maturity and understand why human beings act the way they act. The other thing is you might want to consider a second tier law school. You might want to even consider night law school. But before you even go there, how about getting an internship with a law firm or getting a part-time job with a law firm or becoming a paralegal, getting a paralegal certification, going to work for a law firm so you understand what the rigors of the practice of law are really like. And so that when you do go to law school, you're not going there with your eyes closed and that you fully understand both who you are and whether or not this is the kind of profession you want to practice. Okay bring you this legal video blog as we bring you blogs every week so you understand how the law works. I'm David Allen.